Thank you, Nelson. You know, you listen to these, uh, the, these great, great stories and um, uh, you recognize what Arnie said and what, uh, what Jeff has lived and many other CEOs in the room have, have lived. The job of a CEO has changed profoundly in the last 10 years, even in the last, last, last five years. So the CEO today has to be very agile to have adjusted to this changing dynamic and the changing needs of our business and the changing consumer. And, and I know that Dr. Deming would be very proud of these two, these two recipients. I've had the pleasure of uh, enjoying a multi-year relationship uh, with the Deming Center as uh, a co-chair of the, of the Deming Cup Judging Committee uh, and as an advisor and friend to Columbia Business School and, uh, and, and to the Deming Center and, and my friend Nelson. As I hope you uh, recognize, uh, this takes a lot of work. There's a, there's a, lot, of, uh, a lot that goes into, uh, into this, and this is a culmination of, of months and months of, of, of uh, hard work of, by a lot of people uh, coming together uh, to make sure that uh, we recognize the important legacy of, 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 the, of the Deming Center and, and, and what that means. And so I'd like to take a moment to just thank um, all of uh, our peers uh, who are on the advisory uh, board, those who are on the judging committee, um, who have worked so hard with our uh, co-chairs, uh, with Paul and, and, and Sergio and myself, and, and, and of course Nelson. Uh, and, and I'd also uh, like to say that just, there's a large group, and, and Shelley's articulated some of this, uh, that, that goes through this process. And we had this list of fantastic candidates, and the process ultimately delivered uh, these two outstanding gentlemen. And we, and we, and we would just say that the, the Deming Center has, is proud tonight to say that these two very deserving uh, executives uh, came through that, that, that process and we selected the very best uh, of, this, of the best. This evening offers us an opportunity to take a moment uh, away from our, our busy schedules and our busy lives and come together in the spirit of Dr. Deming uh, to salute the legacy of inspiring leadership in operation management and beyond. And I'd also like to thank our presenters, who I think did a, a fantastic job so articulately uh, of reminding us of the incredible uh, and meaningful leadership and accomplishments uh, of tonight's recipients. Finally, uh, thanks to all of you for, uh, for joining us tonight. You, uh, you pay uh, uh, respect to not just uh, the individuals who are receiving the Deming Cup, but also to the Deming Center itself uh, and its importance uh, and its mission. So we're grateful for all that you, uh, you, you, you continue to do and all the support for all of our, our sponsors of the group. And now I'm going to give it back to Nelson. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to my Terry, Terry. Thank you very much, Terry. What a wonderful evening. Congratulations again to Jeff and Arnie. It brings me great pleasure to welcome you both to the Deming Center family, and I hope that it's just the beginning of your involvement with us in the school. I'm very proud of what the Deming Center represents. The caliber of our winners only reinforces my belief that operational excellence is a key cornerstone of success. As we honor the achievements of Jeff and Arnie, we also celebrate the spirit of W. Edwards Deming and pass his legacy on to the next generation of practitioners who will be tomorrow's leaders and future Deming Cup winners. A celebration like this depends on the input, time, and generosity of many, and I would like to quickly acknowledge those who have made tonight possible. I'm grateful to the Deming Cup Judging Committee, especially the three co-chairs that are here today, Terry, Langren, Sergio Marchione, and Paul O'Neill for their involvement and guidance through our nominations review and due diligence process. To the members of the Deming Center Advisory Board, from the first member we had, Bert Steinberg, to our last members in Alessandro Delfino and Vidul Prakash. Bert was my classmate, Alessandro and Vidul were my former students. To the, um, and my sincere thanks for your involvement and leadership as we work together to further our mission. To all our sponsors who have generally supported this evening, you have our utmost gratitude. I would also like to extend my deepest appreciation to my colleague, particularly in the Decision Risk and Operations Division, for the support of the center and engagement with our programming. I'm grateful to my team that I have the pleasure of working each day, Angela and Abigail, and especially to Kalpana, 
who worked so tirelessly to make this evening a truly special one. I can't thank her enough for her incredible work, professionalism, and kindness. Would you like to stand up, ladies, please? Wherever you are. Abigail, Angelita. Thank you. On a personal note, like many of you, I'm sure, I sometimes wonder if it's time to embrace new challenges and set off on new adventures. But an evening like this, filled with friends both old and new, students from years back and just this past semester, reminds me of how much great work remains to be done right here. This is the eighth year that we awarded the Deming Cup, and to look out and see so many of you who have been with us on the journey from the very beginning is incredibly meaningful. Thank you for your continued support and friendship. With us, please mark your calendars for next year's Deming Cup on October 23rd, 2018. And what I'd like to know is to ask the Deming Cup past winners to come up here to take a picture with our Lifetime Award winner, Paul O'Neill. So Paul O'Neill, Sergio Marchione, Jeff Emel, Arnie Sorensen, Terry Langley. And Ellen Kuhlman, of course. Attention <laughs> <laughs> on. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.